it's, it's funny, but when, this may sound a little bit corny, but, but when kids get asked what they want to do when they grow up, I mean, how many of us sort of aspire to, to change the world, to impact the world? And I sort of think in many ways, that's kind of what we're in the business of doing. You know, here at Brisbane Water Secondary College, you really feel like you are kind of changing the world. They put a lot of time and effort into not even being your teacher, but being more kind of like a partner in what you're doing and you're learning and everything. They'll put time and effort if you want to do that as well. They're such altruistic, caring people and they make the environment so much better and so much more pleasing and you just feel at home. Even though it's a school, it's a second home. You get a lot of independence too, to make your own choices and decide on what path you really want to get into. So you have all the opportunities to make the decisions and be passionate about what you're doing and that's really helped me grow. They really help you to um, individualise what you're doing and they treat you as an individual, not just a group of kids. Like, you're becoming your own person. You put yourself out there and you get something out of it. At the start of the year, I was really nervous because I didn't really know many people. But now I have lots of new friends and I'm not nervous anymore. It's a big change from primary school to high school. Lots of new people, new teachers, new ways of teaching. I felt a bit nerve wracking that like we would come in and there's going to be heaps of homework and like heaps of work. But the teachers really helped us get on top of it and show us that it's not that hard and we have our school diary to write all our homework in. It's a lot less scary than you originally think in year six because you're like, you think about like, we have a lot of different classes to go to and the timetables. So you think it's really scary at the start, but then you get used to it and it's just fun. My favorite day at school, well, that would probably be one of the first days we came here because I got to see a lot of stuff I probably would never see at the, primary, at the primary school, all the teachers seemed really nice and it just seemed, it just seemed like I would, I would really like it here. My top three favourite subjects would be Ag, Art and Maths. My favourite subject would probably be Kappa because I'm in drama and Mr Phillips is a really nice teacher so we get to um, do something that we really love and we really enjoy. My favourite subject would have to be English because like I got, I, don't, I like, like there's more things to English than a lot of people think. I'd probably like just being able to do the cooking because I've always kind of liked cooking, kind of helping my mum in the, um, in the um, kitchen, kind of making stuff and um, test, taste testing them. Yeah, I, mean, I like doing that. But um, I, yeah, I've always had, and I've always kind of enjoyed it. And I've, could, I never, and when I found, when I, when I, when my mum told me that I'll be able to do it in high school, I was really, really excited. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Coming to Brisbane Waters, I think must have been more. I got to learn more, and I got to experience more with the ad, the music, um, sport, everything. I just got to learn a lot more, and I got to experience more, and got to have more fun. My role as a college principal is very different to a campus principal. Something I'm very strong about is the continuum of learning, um, and particularly when we look at the college system here on the coast. What is important is the transition of a child through the education system from kindergarten all the way through to year 12. And partly my role is to make that connection with the primary schools and with both campuses so that we have a smooth and a communicated transition of what the kids needs are, what they're capable of and what they need for in the future. Since being here I've seen the um, amount of transition that's available for the partner primary school students. Um, we want them to come to our school and feel as though it is their school, not our school. And so I think that that's something that is done really well here at Brisbane Water Secondary College Minor. My main aim as transition coordinator is that when those, when those students hit year seven and they come through those gates on that first day of their year seven, 
I want this to be their school. Students come and they already know a lot of their classroom teachers, they already may have an idea of who their team leader and assistant team leader are and they um, know a lot of the classrooms and the buildings around the school which just takes a little bit of that pressure off. I guess that's my driving force, that's the thing I'm really working on is making sure that these students feel really comfortable here and they know what it is they're, they're in for and they're excited about the new, the new step in their um, educational journey. Having lived locally, I always thought this was a place I could make a real difference at. I know that parents here really want the best for their students and they really want to sort of see different opportunities, maybe that they haven't had themselves. But more than that, I want to say that this is the focus of the community. This is our local high school and it, you know, it's somewhere we should be incredibly proud of. And I think we're doing that. I think our teachers are outstanding. Our students are showing increasing pride and just, and just going really, really well. But what I want to do is say to, to people that Brisbane Water is the school of choice. A massive change that I've seen at this campus has happened in the last year or so which is the introduction of AVID which is a program that basically looks at um, extending students beyond high school, um, getting them to look at what it is that they are planning on doing when they leave and helping them gain the tools that they need to, to look at further education. It's been so positive that um, this year we started with a year eight pilot class. Uh, next year we will have four classes across the school, year 7, 8, 9 and 10 and our hope is to extend that even further and have more classes each year. We have lots of really great programs, we've got the, um, the S class program that we run, we've got learning assistance classes, we've got the CAPA program, we've got rugby league and again because we listened to the community and they said well what about, what else, you, what else can you do, what can you do for the other students and so AVID is our way of, of addressing more students and, and bringing in as many programs as we can to um, to address as many students as we can. One thing that really excites me about teaching science here is the fact that the kids can come in to the classroom and they can make all these connections with their real world but in a really fun way. In Year 7 when you come in you get the opportunity to get your Bunsen burner licence which is where we can do lots of cool experiments using flames and we talk about the different types of flames and we put things under the flames and see how they change colour in the flames. Coming back here 10 years later, um, being you know I went to school here 10 years ago, you see some really big changes that are, are like really exciting for me because being a teacher you want to have access to as many facilities as you can. You want to be able to just get any science equipment you want and here we're so lucky because of the commitment that the school's made to making new science facilities here. So the labs are brand new, it has all the equipment that we need. We can do as many investigations as we want because we have all of the equipment in this amazing prep room that we're standing in right now. When I went through school here I absolutely loved the school and I was treated really well by my teachers but I had no idea what I wanted to do when I finished school. I never heard of, I really knew nothing about uni. Um, so I went through school and I got really good marks in year 12. And when I did my education subject at uni, it just ignited my passion for teaching and learning again and made me realise that I knew where I needed to be and I had so much support when I was here. I thought I could go back and I could be that person who's supporting you know, the generations for the future. And I grew up here and my parents still live here and I've been here 22 years and now I'm here teaching the kids who were so much like me 20, you know, you know, 20 years ago. I like being at Brisbane War Secondary College because it's got a lot of art rooms and very creative things we can do in art. Some of the things we've done this year at Brisbane Water Secondary College in art have been working on the Annie sets for the musical. We had some students and teachers helping out painting the Annie sets which was really fun and then great to see them in real life up on the stage. We also did claymation again this year and the kids get to create their own characters, their own storyboard. They create a whole animation in one day which is really cool. For Year 7 starting in art, it's a magic place. There's there's so much to touch, so much to see. They're asking questions constantly. They're, I think they're just really amazed by how dramatic and how different, I guess, the art curriculum is compared to primary school. We've got a great space here, so we have a great facility. And when you get to touch clay, you get to do printmaking and carve lino and play with sharp tools and model things. And then you can also do animation on the computer. Um, there's, there's something for everybody. Being here has allowed me to develop my interest and capabilities and techniques in art and it's got to the point where I was enjoying it and now I'm enjoying it even more and winning competitions and raising money. We have an amazing art uh, facility here that has recently just opened up a uh, scholarship and I'll be applying for that and hopefully I'll get it. It's like a different world from your normal English maths and science. They come in here and they really, they really run with it and they really get to have a chance to be creative and and show their skills and it's been fantastic. 
Capper at Brisbane Water Secondary College has come leaps and bounds since I've been here. I've been here for a long time and I've seen the changes we've been able to make. The biggest implementation we've had is the Capper class, uh, which uh, focuses on talented students coming into the school. Uh, we audition these guys, we see where their talents are and what they're capable of and enhance that. We've been developing um, dance across the um, whole campus at Brisbane Water Secondary College for about three years. We've started at the basic level um, with just increasing the amount of participants that we've got. Um, and from our dance space, we've been able to branch out into aerobics and to cheerleading as well. It's gone from just within school hours um, and, and doing performances to now taking the children out of school hours, um, doing a lot of competitions, um, giving them that side of things so they can hone in all their skills. We're teaching them at school and put them to um, the test against other schools. I've also seen that children are um, really loving with a passion all the extra things we do for them. They, they literally sit there waiting to see, well, what's coming next? What, what's the next adventure we can take with you? I've been the music coordinator here at Brisbane Water Secondary College for the last five years. And what I've uh, really enjoyed doing in my time here is redesigning the music program, specifically for Year 7 students. So we've changed from the recorder to a much more attractive instrument, the ukulele. They'll also look at music from different countries, they'll look at music from all over the world, they'll look at different instruments of the orchestra, and lots of different types of music, and really get uh, a bit more of a wider understanding of what music is in the past and what it is today. It's a really exciting program that I'm really proud of. Dancing in a competitive sense was only begun this year at the school as we've been building towards this. Um, quite exciting, we had five students that got through to represent at Nationals in a dance star competition. Um, and aside from that, we took 25 uh, students as well for aerobics and cheerleading to a national competition uh, in the Gold Coast just recently. And that was a wonderful experience to have that many children um, under my care and to get them to represent at the national level. Um, was a great achievement for the school. The opportunities these kids get, uh, we've got a range of different things right across Kappa, whether you're doing dance, music, drama, art, whatever. Um, we've got a ton of excursions we go on, we take them to every, everything that we can, uh, just to give them that sort of experience. Um, we've also got Central Coast Dance Festival, School Spectacular, Showcase, Starstruck, Yippa, there's so many different things that happen on the case and we're a leading contender for these things. I like performing because we get to make the crowd happy, we get to make, put the smile on their face, make them laugh, make them feel what we're feeling, like get the audience engagement. On campus here, um, we've got uh, our term concerts we do, but then every second year we can do a school musical here at this school, at this campus. Um, this year we did Annie, um, and it was a huge success. I love the experience of doing musicals at BWSC. It's a big family, the whole musical family. It's so much fun. I enjoyed it so much, and so did everyone else. And we've had so many people come up to us and say what a great show it was, and it really was. This year I played Annie in our school musical. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. Static treated, we get tricked. Static kissed, we get kicked. It's a hard knock life. It's really fun to just to be a lead role to everyone know your name and to have your poster all over the school? Well, I've been involved with both the musicals the years I've been here. It's a lot of work, like everyone has their own job in the musical, everyone has their own part. So if you're painting sets, if you're directing, if you're playing a role, if you're learning a script, everyone's got a part, everyone's so busy and it's a crazy time, but in the end, it's so much fun. These are, these are just creating memories that they just take with them for the rest of their lives. Um, you, you, you can't teach that. <laughs>